Hello guys and welcome back to Gorbosh's face. This is Gorbosh the Iron Hand, better known to everybody else as Gorbosh. Alright, let's get going. So at the recommendation of one of you guys, thanks for it, uh, I added the Uncle Shio's really helpful hit tips and tricks, hints and tricks, I don't know what it was called. It was Uncle Shio's really helpful whatever. And I have purposely and by that I mean I covered up the tooltip with my hand so that I couldn't read it. Made sure not to read any of them so that I experienced them the first time on camera, on screen, on... Not, none of these things are being used. I guess screen is, but... I'm experiencing it first hand with you guys here. So hopefully it's as good as it's been recommended and it will make me, you know, cackle or something, you know. I want it to be good. Let's see what we got here. Don't bother hitting things. There's no point. Hit people, or critters, I suppose. But people, they fight back. Then I can watch. I'll bring popcorn. See, now, I can't agree with this, Shio. I like to hit skulls, and believe it or not, skulls are things, not people. Sometimes skulls are attached to people, but for the most part, they're things, and I like hitting those. Ain't used to strangers here in Riverwood. Ain't used to... You're a lovely lady. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I can tell. I was almost very mean to that lady. I considered it. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Get out of my fa- that's right. Back away. No, back away. Back up. Back up. Get moving. Shove. Shove. All right, let's go talk to this lady. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. You look old. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Hmm. The uh mouth movements don't seem to be syncing up with the uh Okay, Gorbush, you can sleep on the floor. Oh, are you not gonna let me sleep? Screw you, I'm sleeping. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. I am. We need to talk. No, we don't. Follow I got me. what I came for. See ya. And that is how the story of Delphine ended. The doom of the general is to be tied down and tickled with feathers until his or her legs fall- Aw, oh, I couldn't read it. Now my loading screens are going too fast because I'm trying to read these. It's not fair. So there probably won't be any videos. Uh, Saturday or Sunday this weekend just because I'm gonna be in a location where the internet speed is like three down at peak and then like 0.05 up in megabits so that's just it would take me pretty much the entire day to upload one of my videos on that connection and it's just it can't be helped I was gonna uh, Put up a. Here, let's talk to this guy. Ah. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimko. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. I'll finish Down. what I was saying when we're done here. Which means push. Duh. Can Gorbosh learn it? Gorbosh, learn it. With read the word. Three words together, this shout Come on, read is it. much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of Da.
reach him? Oh no, I no can't training. move. Dragonborn, we would speak to you. Gorbash, is this your doing? Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards. I'm not really between you. Only I'm this ready. guy and that guy are gonna hit me. Ah! Here, let's watch it like this. Like some kind of movie. Like I'm dancing. Yes, yes, I know some of these words. Some. Not very many of them. Dovakin, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards. Passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Was it not open to me before? Alright, whatever, Gorbosh, let's go outside. I gotta do that thing everybody does once they get the third word of unrelenting force. And I mean everyone. So th this doesn't become a terrible decision. Come on. Show right me. Right there. Then that is my task. It is. We done. Sort of. Enjoy the climb back up. Oof. There he is. I see him. Now I can't see him. Oh, he got up. We don't have to worry. We don't have to reload. He'll catch up. He might be a little angry, but he'll catch up. Alright, now let's look at this. Alright, I guess we'll go listen to Delphine now. I just wanted to get the third word at the shot first. Alduin's always been the one, one to beat at those eating contest jobbies. He does love his cabbage. Eh, I don't know. They're funny. I don't know. We're just gonna have to find the right one for me. Heard uh, they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, they're reforming. There's gotta be one in there, dude. Oh, I can't knock this card over? Can I shout it? No. No, 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 no. I can't move the cart. Make the cabbages spill everywhere. Shut up, dog. Here. I'm so sad enough as it is. Here. I don't need your barking. Don't bed, so. Okay, so. Before Keep me I... mad, and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. You're not afraid of me, are you? Anyways. Uh, before we talk to Delphine, I want to finish what I was saying way back up at the Greybeard's place. Um, here, I'm going to pause so it's... I was going to upload them ahead of time and just check them from private to public, but I just couldn't get the time to record, and it takes so long to process the videos. I might need to get a new editing so software, because I'm, I'm using... As it is, I'm just using Windows Live Movie Maker, and that's not going to cut it for very long, I don't think. I need something a little better, and it takes so long for it to export the movie. And then it takes even it takes even longer for it to upload to YouTube, especially during high traffic times. But uh, hopefully, by the next time this comes up, then I will I'll have it out. Close the door. No. You close the door. Now we can talk. Opening the door. Taking the coins too. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. 
I hope they're right. I'd hope they're right too, because I sucked the soul out of like three dragons already. I hope so, but you'll forgive me if I don't assume that something's true just because the Greybeards say so. I just handed you the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Does that make me dragonborn too? It might. I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Nobody called you the enemy. You don't have to go on the defensive. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Oh, sure. You need to make sure I can tr Wait, no, that's not right. You need to make sure you can trust me. Listen. I like to put my trust behind the heaviest hammer in the room. And it seems like I'm the one carrying that. If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Heaviest hammer. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You are the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do I it? I mean, there's that one guy. Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. <laughs> a few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. <laughs> Oops. A few years ago, I said almost the same. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Yay, more dragons. All right, let's go. Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Let's go kill a dragon. I need that to get into like my me. traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. You don't get a minute. You should have already been in your gear. There's nothing in that chest. How did you? That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. That was a great time for that guy to stop playing music, at least. I don't know, now he's playing a drum. I'm trying to read all these things, but for some reason my hand's a little shaky. It's kind of cold. Steal everything I can get my hands on. Ooh, gold dust. You just find that lying around? Must be your lucky day. What are you doing down here? It's probably because I left the Hold door on. open. I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. Bye, tankard. Watch what you're doing. I can just take whatever I want from you, huh? That's cool. I sure hope that music that jerks playing isn't copyrighted. Kynes Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. Uh. That's a ways away. Looks like we got our... You made me miss! I've never missed that board before. There's no food for you here except strawberry tarts and some cheeses. And a roast chicken. Oh, and here's some wine too. Lovely. Okay, so the loading screens are just about right now. Except for that one that I, I ended up not being able to read because it went by so fast. But for the most part... 
perfectly timed. Mud crabs. They still hit a lot harder than you'd expect them to. My heavy armor's not increasing very fast. Gorbos, you're not still sore about me tossing you off a mountain, are you? I mean, I'd be pretty ticked about it, but you got you got out okay. Bring it on. Okay. Hang on. Let me catch up. Always seem to be breaking their spine. It's a good place to break. A burr. Any closer to the river, and it will be a water bear. And they can survive anything. Again. How do you keep resisting whatever CN throwdown is? Uh, I'm to die. <sighs> All right, so there's going to have been a break because Java, the updater, was like, "Hey, you should update me." Like no Java, I'm in the middle of something right now, and it didn't care, and it 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 cut my desktop, which is not set to record. Hey, I didn't die. But yeah, now I'm annoyed at uh, I'm currently pretty annoyed at Java because that stupid update scheduler. Let's take the bo book on the bottom of the stack. You can't keep me uh. out. A treasure map. Ooh. All right, let's tan this hide. Actually, leather's heavy. Let's turn it all in strips. Soon we'll be able to upgrade our armor and stuff. And then nothing can stand between us. And I don't know. I was going to say nothing could stand before us. But I said the wrong word. Honesty is the best policy. You gotta be honest with people. When you make to say one thing, you, you tell them that. Who's that? Who dat? Oh, that's a giant. Orbush, let's have some fun with him. Uh-oh. 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 Gorbush, don't get killed. I need to shout to charge back. You're doing a good job. Sorry, Gorbosh. I don't think so. I enjoy the slow motion. There's the mammoth tusk we needed. And a toe. Cool. <laughs> Gorbosh nearly died from that, too. He heals fast. Like, he's almost full health again. Well, I mean, he's not, but he's like half health again. He only just got tossed down the freaking mountain. As if our troubles could ever end. Bonk. 
The teeth are good for potions that I'm never going to use. <laughs> I think a tooth and a glowing mushroom make a smithing potion that I will again never use. At least I'll never make it. I don't really like potions. They bore me. Greetings, Kynes Grove. Your savior is here. Who are you? No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon. It's attacking. Well, if you say so. Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. Why would you? Build I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Why would you build your stupid tiny little town here, next to the dragon mound? Doesn't seem good. All the wind fury. Boan did go create a house with exception of Kuzik. Get some of me here. Come in here. Fall no side of a king. Zu'u. Korav need no dove to hide. sat here and waited for it, like any good hero would do in any situation. Wait for the monster to transform or show up, you know, all that hero stuff. Stop it. Apparently how hard I hit him in the head was, uh... Ooh, that was... that was a bit of lag. I hit him hard enough in the head that he, uh... He, like, is... got that stuff. Mm, I missed. There we go. All's right with the world. Rush, come here. My blood's calm. Fine. Let's trade then. <laughs> you might not be able to carry this. Yep. Too much for you to carry. Guess we're going home after this. Go where the challenge is greatest. What? Why are you getting uh, energy? It's true, isn't it? You really are dragonborn. Unless you got scared away by his shout. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know, nothing held back. Not a damn thing. 
I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. And I need to go home and put all of my bones and scales in a chest. Where do our two, uh... Where do our two goals collide? I hope it's dinner. I'm one of the last Crap. men... A very long... For the last... Two no, now that dragons are coming back, again. our purpose is clear again. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. I know who the Thalmor are, but for, for whatever. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Yep. That's probably because you guys did the same thing I'm doing and didn't have any magical resistance. Not the best move, but it's a move. Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. Well, your gut is the wrong. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Oh, the dragons? The faction God that... Dang it! There's no worse enemy to humankind. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I meet me back and keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. And we're going back home. To Bree's home. Wolf heads are the new black. We'll all be wearing them next summer. Except the wolves, obviously. They'll be in fuchsia. I like that one. That one's good. Khajiit tails are hollow. They use them for- Ah, oh, dang it, I wanted to read it! That one looked really good. Alright, once I put this stuff in the chest, I'm gonna stop the recording to check and make sure the audio's still going. Because I got a sinking feeling. Gorbush, come here. That's right, you can come up the stairs. It's okay. An orc fu fine. Let's trade then. And now Go we where the challenge is greatest. Ugh, 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 ugh. There we go, we made it. And in they go. Okay. Gonna check the recording. Good news, everybody! The recording has all of its audio still. So aside from that little skiff with the uh, cave bear, water bear, tardigrade, everything's okay. Lydia, this is 
This is really depressing. You should. I am your sword and your shield. I am your sword and your shield. Maybe consider cleaning up. I mean, this place is a mess. Seriously, I mean. It's just. Honored to see you again, my Thane. Clean it up. I hope the skeleton's not still in here. Ah! Lydia, did you put the skeleton back in the wardrobe? Stop doing that. We have 2,000 gold, and I'm carrying still way too much stuff. So... We're gonna put some of it in the chest. I will cut back when I'm done with this. Alright, we should be down to a reasonable amount now. So we can go off and have our adventures. Speaking of which, I kept on- I held on to this. The, uh, Red Fury sword. Red equals fury, I mean. Which is, uh, that one quest that we didn't do. <laughs> a long time ago. So we're gonna go do it now. Just because I don't want to have to be carrying the stupid sword around with me all day. Dragon skulls are a stupid place to put a bedroom. They're all... St what? They're all sticky apart from anything else. So much goo. I don't... Gorbosh, do you know how to put a bedroom in a... Dragon skull? I don't. I don't know what he's referencing. But I'd like to. Oh dang it, that's a long ways away. And by a long ways away, I mean not that far away from where we're about to fast travel, but still, still kind of far. That looked like it was the Dawn Guard thing. It didn't look like it was actually an Uncle Shio one. So I didn't read it. The Uncle Shio is my la is the last one in my load order, so it should replace everything, but I guess it's not compatible with the uh, Dawn Guard. Okay. Up for some hunting? Yes. Hang on. Move. Nobody wants you, stupid Borax. Torso, I mean. Dang it. Dang it. There we go. He said not to hit things, but... And only to hit people, but... I mean... You already know what I'm about. Like, what I'm all about. I don't know if I hit you guys, so I'm gonna hit you both. Jeez. Alright, we're out of skulls. Good. That was a lot of hitting. We venture into the darkest cave of darkness. And we find this other orc did not survive. And I see why he didn't come equipped with very much. Don't make that noise. You sound like you're a zombie. take this sword while we're down here. That would be a very bad thing to have happen. Hmm. 
Alright, if I walk, we're never gonna get there. back in your tomb, but you're too fat. Here, we'll put this in your tomb instead. Wakazashi. Gosh, you guys are keeping entirely too many skulls. This doesn't seem like it was nearly worth as much. I was expecting a much longer dungeon. I was hoping to end on this, but we can't end on this. It's really dark. Bush, you were almost locked in there. Not bad. Listen, I don't know if My you prefer this calm. one to. Uh, I prefer. Fine, let's trade then. If you'll prefer this one, but if you do, you're welcome to use Go it. Go where the challenge is greatest. Okay, you don't prefer that one. Well, now I don't know what to end on, guys. Um, let's go join the Imperials. It's off to solitude. Look at it for too long and an arrow will vanish. Or will it? Maybe that's goats. I forget now. Don't try to fire a goat from a bow, though. I can get to read the last sentence. This disappoints me more than it should. And because I don't want to walk to solitude... What? It's an axe? Or... Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Perhaps. That looks like a bearded axe. Alright, since I don't want to walk to solitude. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Because that would take too long. Climb and back, and we'll be off. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim. Did you know that giant's toes are made of gold? They are! Particularly mixed with the bear's claws and some hanging moss. What? I don't... What? I guess I might try that. Make sure, but... Huh. Well then. Alright, let's see what you got. Kajit welcomes you. I welcome you. And also, take a look. Oh, I wish I had that before I was a freaking werewolf. Some really interesting. Uh... <laughs> hey, what? Take a look. Did I just see what I thought I saw?
I don't... I... Never mind. May your road lead you to warm sands. So for a unique item, it's not too unique, apparently. Unless he stole mine. Nope, mine's on my back. Gosh, the things that happen. I can't believe it. You know, it's the eyes that bother me. Be seeing you. Nah, I don't think... Some of these don't really... Whatever. They can't hurt Uncle Rog, dear. It's a fun mod. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Smarty, you need to go home. Let's watch this next execution. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Is that axe enchanting? Traitor. No, it's just bloody. You should tell Get on with it! That betrayed his high king. Best you, you know betrayed now. us! You're all heart, baby. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Big deal, I've done that with a hammer. Take that. You look like you could do with a ripe apple. Or a tomato. Cabbage. Save your sales leaf. pitch for the daylight hours. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kinds grow this time. Yeah. Attack. Sure, Some that's what we can call it. Guard you are. She's shouting really loud if I can hear her from here. What could it mean? The return? Uh. So, like, what race was, uh, Tiber Septum? Because in Skyrim it seems like he's a Nord, but then, like, all of his descendants are Imperials, and I don't understand it. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on White. What do you need? He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Not a big fan of Tolius. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? wasn't, actually, but... <laughs> you were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. No, not really. You don't recall. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legat Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you, 
Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. You survived, Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. I can't send her right now. The knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. It's both. We'll soon find out. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. Hmm. That sounds like what the I The ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. Alright, we're not gonna do that Pete, right now. What's the hurry? But Sir. There we go. So like I said, I'm not gonna really be I'm not gonna be able to get anything out Saturday or Sunday. Sorry about that. I wish I could, but I just the internet's too slow. And it won't work out for me. So I'll see you guys on Monday. Uh the Uncle Shio mod has been cool. Uh, for the most part. And I hope that, you know, because there's like 500 things in it. So hopefully we get one that really gets me, that really, that's really funny. I hope. And we'll see about that. Alright. Hopefully the audio didn't cut out, because if it did, I'm going to have to smash something. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. See ya.